also new tonight after a recent spike in violent crimes like murders and shootings. The San Diego Police Officers Association is calling out city leaders. Fox 5's Liberty Zabala is live at police headquarters with more on the rise in crime and reaction. Liberty. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, we have seen a number of shootings in just the last few days from freeways to parks to popular tourist destinations, and some officers are saying enough is enough. Chaos in the parks. The San Diego Police Officers Association is raising the alarm over the 12th murder at a park in the city of San Diego. That's very dramatic. It's in comparison to 2019 when there was only two murders citywide in parks. Any murder in a city park is too much. The latest occurred on Friday at Teralta Park. Officers noted 11 other deaths at local parks since May of last year. Violence is escalating in the streets, and we're not able to keep up with it with the staffing we have, with the resources we have. You know, a lot of the low-level offenders are released immediately, and it's it's tragic. Just last week, officers responded to two shootings on the 8 freeway, one involving an injured CHP officer, another involving road rage. Recent shootings also happened at Belmont Park, and police responded to a shooting at Shelter Island just over the weekend. To be a big city cop is incredibly difficult now, and the level of scrutiny is very high, which is in some level appropriate, but we need more officers. The SDPOA called out Council Member Monica Montgomery Stepp, who chairs the Public Safety and Livable Neighborhoods Committee, to do more to curb the violence. She has brought forth in her work plan for the year the PROTECT Act, which she has not prioritized anything else. We're raising an alarm and a red flag to say no. Your priorities are wrong. You need to fix this. The council member released a statement saying in part, quote, there is a pattern of disregard for communities south of the eight, which has undoubtedly contributed to the cycle of violence in our communities. The SDPOA's ignorance to the compound deprivation of these communities, which they have taken an oath to serve and protect, exacerbates our current dilemma of growing violence in our city. And Council Member Montgomery Stepp also said that public safety policies should include economic and social justice components. Meanwhile, the SDPOA said that San Diego Police has lost more than 190 officers since last July. For now, live here in downtown, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News. Liberty, thank you for that report.